find out whether Norway will be able to turn its curling stones into gold once again and defend the title of 2007. For the third time, the Swiss Circe hosts the World Championships in wheelchair curling. Ten teams are battling it out as the 2007 winner, Norway, tries to defend its title. The world's most experienced players once again come together, aiming to win the title. But there was also room for newcomers. Jimmy Joseph, the skipper of the US team, knows why it was worth taking along Jackie Kapinowski, who's been curling for only four months. I knew she was, would be strong enough for our team. And she's into sports already, so I knew she was athletic and everything. So we needed a girl real bad, and I stepped up to the plate and I seen her, and I just knew she would be the one because Thanks, Jim. she's, you know, I just I get the vibe, and she's uh, she's been into sports, and that's how um, I talked her into uh, the curling. I said, why don't you try the curling? She said. No problem, I'd give it a try, and uh, ever since then she's just been tremendous. After winning gold at the Torino Paralympics, the Canadian team is eager to win other major titles. Sonia Gaudet knows there is much more to the game than just the title. Well, my goal in Paralympic sport is just to be a big part of the whole Paralympic movement, which is encouraging people with physical disabilities through the power of sport, and um, just to um, focus on that message that our Paralympic sport is about focusing on the abilities and not the disabilities. You come to a competition like this and you know you no longer um, think about your disability. We're all on a fairly even playing field and um, it's just about what we have to contribute to sport and what we're still able to do after perhaps an illness or a tragic injury and just carry on with something that we really love to do and have a passion for. When do you start wheelchair curling or how was it? Actually, uh, it was in October uh, 2003. Uh, one of the guys from the um, sport uh, organization in Norway he sent out an email because uh, Norway had to, uh, put on a team uh, for the championships, but uh, we didn't have a team. So uh, one of the local guys in the federation, he just sent out some emails to a few of us he knew. And it was like, OK, I'm in. Wheelchair curling is one of the fastest growing Paralympic winter sports, with a huge boost in professionalism over the past few years. There are a number of good teams, which makes it difficult to predict who is going to win the championships this year. Ger Arn Skogstad and Team Norway won the title in 2007. He knows it won't be easy to repeat that success. Uh, it's very equal. It's like uh, yesterday and uh, last year and also this year. It seems like everyone can beat everyone. And uh, so it's a kind of, some days it's like having a good or a bad day. That's uh, up to who's winning. To get into the final, they have to beat Team Canada, the Torino winners. Canada starts strongly with a 3-0 lead in the first inning but Team Norway strikes back in the second. The Norwegians are the masters of suspense in the tournament. Unlike other teams, their shooting percentages are low, but their one-point lead strategy pays off once again as they beat Canada. The game ends at 0-3, 2-0, 0-1, 0-1, and 2-0 twice. After six innings at a score of 6-5, the Norwegian team advances to the final. Canada equals last year's fourth place with a strong performance. In the battle for the top of the podium, Norway meets the Koreans, who've been training in Circe for weeks. Hak Sum Kim has an impressive shooting rate of 80% in a sport where 50% is considered very good. With Kim's magic and hard training, the Koreans are aiming for nothing less than gold. Well, I already knew what to expect, so every single member of the team worked really hard for this moment. They've been practicing. I know, they've been practicing for day after day, almost every day, for the last three years. So that's what we see now, the results of practicing hard every day.
But the team cannot repeat the performance of the week during the final. Hak Sum Kim stays below his usual rate. Korea hopes for a tie in the second inning, but Norway steals the points. A Norwegian mistake gives Korea another chance in an extra end, and they temporarily gain the lead with 3-2. But in the end, there's no way past Rune Lorentzen and his plan B. The battle ends 5-3 for the title holders, with a narrow but well-deserved win. Congratulations! With back-to-back -back titles, Team Norway once again proves to have the best strategy on ice. Korea is a very uh, hard uh, team to to take. They play very well. You see, we ended up uh, equal after six ends and had to play an extra end. So it was a very tight game. They play well, and it's the excitement and the nerves that make the break in the last zone. And Many thanks. Goodbye from friendly Circe. A pity that Team Switzerland only came in eighth this year. Next year's World Championships will take place in Vancouver at the official Olympic and Paralympic curling venue.